I was hired by Dell to create a commercial that looks like this. All right, you guys, I am back. And I know I say that a lot because I disappear a lot, but nevertheless, I was hired by Dell to create this commercial that you just saw. And they wanted me to feature their Dell Precision 5470 workstation laptop. So when they gave me their brief packet, the whole slogan and tagline was getting more done from anywhere. And with that, that sparked an idea because I just watched Everything Everywhere All at Once, which is such an amazing movie. I recommend going to check it out. And that gave me the idea of having me have that same effect of flying through a bunch of different areas and then being transported outside from inside my office. So I'm gonna break down in this tutorial how I created this commercial just for you guys. So let's get into it. So we just got our shots that are gonna set up the whole scene for what we're doing this tutorial for, which is the everything, everywhere, all at once pullback for this Dell commercial. What we've come up with, and this is actually Alex's genius idea to take this to mount the camera, because I was trying to figure out how to mount the camera, but I have an electric skateboard and here's my chair. I wouldn't recommend doing this at home unless you're a stuntman, just like me. And we're gonna take this with a knuckle and we're gonna attach the camera here. The chair's gonna be here. I'm gonna open up and we're gonna zoom backwards into that wall. We have now built our moving camera set up for me to fly back around. Should be interesting. Should be a lot of fun. Should not be attempted at home. Watch out. All right. So we're back in the studio for day two. I went through the footage, which is very important because when you're trying new things, you really have to experiment and see what works, take from that, learn from that, and then develop. Especially when you have enough days, always reshoot if you wanna make it great. And what I learned is we needed to move our whole set farther this way away from the wall because I need more travel time from this action to when I go against the wall because it happens so fast, we really need to see that movement. The next thing is we didn't have the desk in the shot. And obviously because we can't just go through the desk with our rig the way we have it set up. So what we came up with is that we're using a piece of cardboard and we just have it hinged onto my tripod right there. So once the skateboard starts to roll this way and the camera starts to move, then the plant and the piece of cardboard slide out like that, which gives the illusion that the desk is there, that the monitor is there, and that the plant is there. And it just sells the effect a little bit more. The last thing that I wanted to make sure is that because of the original shot, you couldn't really see the logo on the Dell laptop, which is very important. So we made sure that we're angling it just right so when the light hits it, that it really reflects on the logo itself. And we figured by not opening all the way, you just open slightly, still gives that same effect. But really, again, trial and error is the most important thing. And yeah, keep on keeping. Since this video is sponsored by Dell, I'm gonna take a second to talk about the specs of the 5470 Precision Workstation. This laptop is only 3.26 pounds, so it's extremely lightweight. It's their lightest laptop yet for the workstation line. This thing is a powerhouse. You can configure this laptop with up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5 memory and up to four terabytes of storage. And with a Navita RTX A1000 graphics card. This laptop is a workhorse and will help you get your creative content done from anywhere. We are back. We are back and it's day three. And why is it day three of filming this or day four? I don't know what day it is, but the reality is the concept that we had, I don't know what's going on outside, but the concept that we had where we were actually trying to emulate exactly everything everywhere all at once and watching their BTS videos, what they did is they used projectors and panels and played the video that we shot, that we went out and shot in different locations, plus stock footage, and then project that onto the actress and then had a green screen in the background and had air blowing. We tried that multiple different ways. We sucked terribly at it. So instead of doing that, we're just gonna use the skateboard because we tested that out and we actually liked it and we're just gonna use the skateboard in different environments. 
The negative part about it is that it's a little bit shaky. I would recommend actually using some kind of off-road wagon because you could pull that a lot faster. We have to go pretty slow because I'm balancing on the skateboard going backwards. But also the other negative thing is obviously we can't be in a punch in different places. We can only use the places around here with the time frame that we have. But we're gonna make it fun. We're gonna put the uh, astronaut helmet on. We're gonna try a bunch of different things to put me through all these different dimensions. But the shot is actually, I'm saying but a lot, I don't know. The shot is actually turning out, the shots are turning out really great. And so I think just going the extra mile and adding a few more dimensions into it, even though it's another day of filming, I lose a little bit more money when I do this. I wanna make sure that my commercial and the things that I put forward are awesome. So, you know, it's all about filmmaking and having fun and learning and failing. And you'll fail time and time again. I think we failed about 30 times on this project. So, you know, it happens all the time and we're reshooting, reshooting, reshooting all the time. So keep at it, keep going and don't give up. We are out in my beautiful backyard, not literally my backyard, but near my house. And we are getting our ending shots. Cause I said, the whole point of this is that this laptop can be used anywhere. So the whole concept is I fly through the back of the wall on the skateboard and then we land out here in this beautiful space. And then I'm just working away. We close the laptop and I'm back in my studio. And really we're just gonna get a few different shots, different angles. The sun's down now, but we already got them. And the trick with this usually is you wanna always shoot, not always, but for this kind of look, you wanna shoot with the sun behind you. And then you're gonna just use a bounce board just to fill in the shadow on you. And it's gonna create a very high end cinematic look for your commercials. Go. Oh. Damn it. Ow. Ow. Uh, uh, All right, guys. So here we are in Premiere. I'm just going to show you guys how I made these clips look extra fast. There's not really too much of a secret to it. This is the regular speed clip, as you can see. If I go to this, I just speed ramped it, which all you do is go right click time remapping speed and then you can kind of drag it and I drag these up to like around 696 so it does that right kind of choppy but then what I do is I take it and I bring it into After Effects right here and I added a blur to it and it's actually a radial blur I, uh, let's see yeah, it's a radial blur CC, radial fast blur, and I have it at 95%. And then as you can see, I did a mask around here because if I don't have a mask, it's all gonna look like that, right? So I add this mask in and then I just feather it and then I kind of just make sure that the track is there. So then the ending shot looks like that. It makes it look a lot faster. And that's it for that. And then the only other shot that I'd say that anything happened was this one right here where I'm not actually moving at all. I just have to zoom and then I added in a camera shake as you can see right here. And I'm using Red Giant's camera shake effect. I also use Red Giant for the matrix right here to make this color grade as you can see. See, um, if I go into here, they have these cool things called hollow matrix. You can do these different effects. So it just made it make it look, look a little bit more green. And that's it guys. That's it for the editing portion of this tutorial. All right, guys, that is it for this commercial. I hope that was a lot of fun. I hope that you learned from it. I promise you, I'm gonna be amping up my YouTube tutorials again. I just been crazy busy, <laughs> crazy busy running my production company and working with a bunch of different companies. So I haven't had any time to actually be making tutorials, but we're gonna be doing more of these and more of other things. I can't wait to show you guys. So please like, share, subscribe, and until next time. Since this video is sponsored by, <laughs> Since this, blah, blah, blah. Since this video is sponsored by Dell, I'm gonna talk a little bit about their specs of the workstation. Since this video is sponsored by Dell, since this video is sponsored by Dell, I'm gonna take a second to talk about the specs of the 5470 Precision Workstation. And so this lightweight, this, this laptop is only 3.26 pounds, so it's extremely lightweight. It's their lightest laptop yet for the workstation line. This thing is a powerhouse. It is built with 
four gigabytes. <laughs>